Hi everyone, welcome to today's reading of Charlie's Worries by J. L. Cornish. This is the second book in a series of stories where Charlie learns some ways to help her feel calm when she is having some big feelings. If you love this story, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and visit the teacher author website where you can find a range of stories that all include free discussion questions and learning activities. Let's read! Charlie was a little girl who was very brave and strong. She loved to jump on trampolines and sing her favourite song. She was usually so happy and had the biggest smile, except if mum and dad would leave her for a while. Her face turned very pale, her hands would start to sweat. She couldn't stop her worries, even if she tried to forget. Her body would start quivering, her tummy would feel sick. It felt like she had butterflies that were doing some backflips. Like when she jumped out of the car to start her day at school, she felt really excited because the playground was so cool. But as soon as she remembered that her father wasn't there, she couldn't help but worry and she felt sick everywhere. Her eyes filled up with tears and she had a tummy ache. Her feet stuck to the floor and her hands started to shake. Or when going to her cousin's house, she'd love to stay the night. But as soon as her mum left, her tummy wasn't right. She lay down in the bed and couldn't sleep at all. She felt too sick with worry, so her mum they had to call. So one day in her classroom, she was feeling extra shy. Her worries felt so heavy and she couldn't help but cry. Her teacher noticed she was sad and asked her what was wrong. Charlie told her everything. Their chat was very long. Her teacher listened carefully and gently she replied, The next time you feel worried, here's something you can try. Take a few deep breaths in, it will help to stop the tears, and then when you feel calmer, you can tell someone your fears. Remember that your parents will be here very soon. Focus on something here instead, until the afternoon. There is lots to keep you busy, and you might not feel so flat. Before you even know it, they'll be here, just like that. So the next day at Grandma's house, she started to feel sad. She could feel all of her worries. She missed her mum and dad. But instead she took a deep breath in and focused on her play. She remembered they would be there when it was the end of the day. And sure enough, after a while, she stopped feeling so sick. She was having too much fun and the time flew by so quick. And now Charlie felt so relieved, her worries weren't so bad. She knew that she would be okay without her mum and dad. So the next time you feel worried, and you don't know what to do, try these things like Charlie, and you might feel better too. That brings us to the end of today's read aloud of Charlie's Worries by J. L. Cornish. I love how Charlie learned about different ways to help her when she felt anxious without her mum and dad. Maybe the next time you are feeling anxious, you can practice the different ways to help you feel a bit better, like focusing on the things around you, just like Charlie. Don't forget, if you loved this story, then like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with new read-alouds. Thanks for listening and we'll see you at our next read-aloud.